Hello, everybody. I'm so excited that you're checking in with this brand new live video on YouTube. This is totally new for me, but uh, I'm super happy to be finally trying this out because I've been meaning to for a while. So welcome. Um, I'm Sophie. I am a life coach and I help women take the leap to really, really be true to themselves so that they can live the best life ever. And uh, I always say die a happy woman because that's what we are here for, to live our fullest life and really, really become the best versions of ourselves. So I wanted to share my, st my story with you about how I um, decided to actually leave everything that was familiar to me and uh, set up a new life in Italy. Um, it actually started Mm, let's say 10 years ago. Uh, I've lived here for eight years now and actually 10 years ago I was in Holland, I was teaching, I was teaching English and I really enjoyed that um, and I was in a steady relationship, I had a steady home, a steady contract, everything was very 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 steady and maybe also a little bit boring. Um, at the time I was suffering from anxiety disorder um, and that wasn't a really good place to be in because it was hard to really constantly be battling your own thoughts and feelings. And so that was a very draining, very challenging place to be in. And I was very determined to get rid of it, to get rid of the fear and get rid of all these annoying thoughts that just kept me stuck 24 seven. Um, and so I did everything in my power to, yeah, like I said, get rid of it. But it wasn't until I actually learned to embrace it and really accept myself, including the ugly parts, that I was able to set myself free from it. And I will explain how I did just that. Um, I started my, my journey with uh, picking up Louise Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life. And she always shares about how loving yourself is the answer to everything. And at the beginning was like, this sounds weird, but hey, let's give it a try. I'd already been to a psychologist. I'd already tried a mindfulness course. I'd already, you know, read books about how to fight your anxiety and all these things and nothing really, really worked. So I was like, let's give this a try as well. And so I started telling myself in the mirror, I love you. I love you, I really love you, and I accept you just the way you are. You're a beautiful person, and I love you. And I just kept on doing it, and at the beginning it was super strange, um, but then slowly but surely, I started creating a connection with myself, and that allowed for me to wake up, to wake up to my life, to really see what my life was like. And like I shared, I was, Yes, I had a steady job, and yes, I had a steady relationship, and yes, I had a steady home situation, but I wasn't happy. Um, I loved teaching English, and I loved working with the kids, but the whole structure of being, you know, working for a boss and having this schedule to respect and these boring uh, meetings with, you know, in a not very exciting surroundings were just really draining the life force out of me. And I was like, you know, is this all there is? Um, the same with my relationship. I, th I think it really has to do a lot with us getting together at, uh, when I was 17, he was 18, and it, the relationship was right at the time. Uh, but then we evolve, we grow, we become different people. I mean, I'm so not the same person I was when I was 17. I'm not even the same person I was a year ago, you know? So it's, I feel it's a very natural uh, thing that happens that after, I mean, we were together for six years, we lived together for a year, that at some point there's just this misalignment and you can fight for it as much as you want, but sometimes it's, it's more, uh, loving to look the truth in the eyes and really um, see what's going on and say, hey, this is not working anymore for either of us. And so we set each other free. And that allowed for the space for me to really ask myself what I wanted. And the moment I did just that, I really took that moment. There was a sacred moment in which I really tapped into my own desire. And I asked, Sophie, what is it that you truly desire? Italy. 
Italy came up and we've always come on holiday here and I always felt so alive and I just love the food, the weather, the people, the fact that you're able to express yourself freely, that you can be a real woman and that people see you and really acknowledge you. And also, maybe it's very superficial, but I loved the ciao bella, you know, and I and I still do, even though maybe the it, the meaning has changed for me. But let me show you this painting that I have in my home, or painting, it's a photo actually, it's in my home. Um, and it re represents, for me, being seen and really being appreciated. And when I saw this, I was like, wow, this really sums up the way I feel and what Italy has meant for me. Like, I was really able to, to just be myself and be seen and be appreciated for that. And this, uh, this photo is American Girl in Florence by Ruth Orkin. And I bought it and I put it in my home because I wanted to have that reminder of like, hey, what has Italy brought me? And so I remember really feeling that fire, that desire, like, oh, wow, I would love to go to Italy for a longer period of time. And, and so I had this goal, I had this dream, and when I set my mind to something, I make it happen. And so I prepared myself for a year um, and, you know, set some money aside and really sold all my furniture, made sure new people got into my home. And it just happened, you know, when the universe feels that your desire is so in alignment with what you're supposed to do, who you're supposed to be, then it helps you. And I got the amount of money that I desire to make. I managed to, you know, get rid of my furniture. I managed to get beautiful people from my home. I even shared some time living with my dad, which was a beautiful opportunity to get closer together. And so everything just worked out. And then moving here, moving to Florence, Italy, allowed me to cure myself from anxiety disorder. About a year after I got here, I stopped taking antidepressants. And that was maybe the biggest thing I've ever done. Because, I mean, can you imagine having to take medication in order to function properly and then being able to let that go because you feel so fulfilled by, you know, f by really living in line with your true self with your desire and, and being true to yourself and so that's what what Italy has given to me and I didn't know that I didn't come here to like hey let's you know cure myself from anxiety disorder it's what Italy gave to me and that's also why the universe conspired so much to make this happen for me it was my path and I heard that calling and I just followed it and of course it was scary taking the leap is always incredibly scary um, this is one of the main points I work on with my clients because they say, Sophie, I'm scared. I'm probably not doing the right thing. No, you are doing the right thing because you feel scared. And let me explain how that works because the moment we feel fear, it means that our system is being activated and our minds go like, oh, we need to go into protection mode because she's moving out of her comfort zone again. And that might be dangerous. And so our minds always try to protect ourselves from um, unpredictable things or danger or whatever could possibly go wrong. And it thinks of all these, you know, horror scenarios to just keep you where you are so that you don't move an inch and that you don't really change anything because change is dangerous. And yes, it is because you take risks. On the other hand, it's way more dangerous to stay stuck and not evolve. Um, growth is natural. And if you don't grow, you die. And that's true for everything, from relationships to career to, you know, self-development. And so it's natural to expand and to evolve. And that involves a lot of fear and insecurity and doubt and all these things because they're all opportunities to overcome them. And overcoming them doesn't mean that they have to be gone before we leap, it means that we take them with us on our leap. And so I took all the fear and anxiety and all the you know thoughts I had with me on my leap to Italy and I made it, uh, I made my desire stronger than my, my dread, than my fear. And that's how I managed. And then I fulfilled my dream of teaching English to Italians and that was great. But then after three years, I was like, hmm, I feel I need a new challenge. And so I 
really minimized my teaching and I opened up the space to become a writer and I, I wrote for Dutch magazines and blogs and I wrote about my life here in Italy, which was so amazing. Got to go on blog tours, explore Tuscany and even went on a cruise. There were so many beautiful adventures involved and then I really tapped into my truth again and said, you know, even though this is really exciting, I feel that the time spending um, typing away at the computer is not in alignment with my with my soul, with my calling. And, and what is that? That is working with people. I, I love working with people. I love helping them evolve. I'm originally a, a teacher. I always said I'm first a teacher and then an English teacher because I just love uh, helping people on their path and becoming a better version of them, of themselves, which doesn't mean that you're wrong now. It's just that like you go to the next level, and that, uh, like I just shared, I'm so different compared to a year ago because I'm so committed to my own growth and self development, which looks, which means looking at the ugly parts and working through them, journaling through them, crying through them, and you know having my own coach to go to the next level. It's just, it's, you decide to either stay stuck where you are and be stagnant and dead, in a sense, or you decide to open up the space for your growth and so that you can flourish and become the best version of yourself. And that requires a lot of courage. I always say being happy requires a lot of courage because it means going outside of your comfort zone all the time. All right. So... If anything in this video resonated with you, please share it in the comments below. And also, if you feel that there is a lady in your uh, network that could really, really use uh, this message, then feel free to share it with her because I think that sharing is caring and the more people know that it's possible to actually go and do you and choose your own happiness, the, the be more beautiful this world will become. Also, if you're like, hey, this lady speaks to me and you're like curious to get to know me better and you want to share your story and your dream with me then please reach out and book a free discovery call you can uh, contact me at info at lifecoachsophie.com that is info at lifecoachsophie.com or just go to my website lifecoachsophie.com and book your call there um I'm looking forward to connecting with you and seeing if we can work together to take your leap, whether to Italy or, you know, make other big life changes. I'm there for you and uh, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to, to hearing your personal story. Wishing you a fabulous evening, una buona serata and lots of love and courage from Florence, Italy. Goodbye, everybody.